Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, so we got the official report in from the National Weather Service. They went out and did some surveys, and you know, based off the damage, they can estimate where it started, uh, how strong it was. And so they estimated the winds reached 145 miles an hour as its strongest, at its strongest. And so uh, the tornado touched down for a little while, uh, 540 to 553 p.m. Sunday, and this was in northern Virginia Beach. It started, looked like near the water's edge, uh, the eastern branch of Lynn Haven River, and then it moved over Great Neck, Bay Island, and then over Fort Story. Did some damage there, and then it moved out to sea and dissipated. But the uh, path link was about four and a half miles, and it was about 350 yards uh, wide at the widest. And so uh, there it is, all the latest information. So, you know, there's the EF3, which is a strong tornado, 136 to 165 miles an hour. It does structural damage. And it's amazing because, you know, we're starting to see more of these in our region. We didn't have hardly any of that, anything like that, before 2008. Then 2008, the Suffolk tornado hit. That was an EF3. We have multiple tornadoes since. And uh, I believe in 2011, the uh, Gloucester tornado, I think, was EF3 as well. So, uh, you know, it's. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's coming a little more common. So anyway, uh, that system is long gone, but we're still dealing with part of the system. This is loosely tied to it. <clears throat> it's not going to come down here or anything. It's a giant area low pressure up in the Great Lakes. It is causing snow. So this is a colder system now. It's causing snow in western Pennsylvania and parts of Maryland and uh, West Virginia. Now that's at the surface. <clears throat> There's also an upper level low that's spinning and this is influencing our weather a little bit. We're kind of on the edge of this upper level low. So that's why we're getting a little clouds and maybe a few spotty showers in the afternoons and evenings. Now today high temps, the model updated 70. I'm going upper 60s and then tomorrow I am going 60s as well, mid 60s. It's going to be a cool day for around here. Look at those 40s and 50s in the northeast states in the Great Lakes. That is that's chilly. Now the warmth is starting to build a little bit over in the west and the south. Eventually that's going to move our way, but you know what? We're cool all the way up through Thursday and Friday and probably even Saturday. I think it's around Sunday, Monday when things finally get a little more normal in our forecast. The temperatures start popping up again. So Super Doppler 10 radar, we have no rain. We do have a little bit of clouds, some thin clouds. As we roll into the afternoon, we're going to develop a little bit more. So partly cloudy skies. A couple of these may develop a shower. Earlier this model had a uh, little bit of green out there. I'm going to stick with that forecast. Just call for an isolated shower too. That's it. We'll have westerly winds and they'll be strong. Now tomorrow morning we'll start off with dry conditions, lighter winds, but then we're going to have a little higher chance of rain because the upper level low scoots our way. So we got some scattered rain showers tomorrow and the winds will be breezy out of the west and northwest. Today, highs upper 60s in Norfolk, Portsmouth and Virginia Beach, 70 in Currituck and Elizabeth City. Breezy, cool. We got isolated shower too this afternoon. Not too many. 66 in Hampton, 65 in Melpha, mid 60s in Gloucester and upper 60s in Newport News. Maybe a stray shower in the afternoon. Tree pollen is low. Grass pollen is moderate. It's not too bad out there, but uh, it's not great just yet. And mosquito levels, they're down for the next couple of days. They'll be up a little bit going into Thursday. So today, tomorrow, we got that strong breeze. Highs in the 60s, a few showers tomorrow. Thursday, Friday, dry, still cool. And then uh, yeah, maybe a stray shower Saturday, 68, but some 70s arrive finally by Sunday and Monday.